What's going on with y'all, man? Uh, Zay's Perception back with another presentation. Hope y'all day is going good. Hope you're blessed. Hope you're getting up today and doing something good with your life. So, in this video, I want to talk to y'all about, you know, I really want to talk to my guys, my fellas. Um, life is conquest. Listen up, man. Life is conquest. Life is a mission. Life is a game. Understand that you shouldn't joke around with life, but also don't take life that serious because you are a small figment in existence. You are a small, por you are a very, 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 very small portion of, of, of life. When you, when you pass away, there are still billions of people in this world. So just understand that your individual life has to be significant in your own terms. Don't live for other people. Live for yourself. Attack your goals every day. Do what, you, do what your soul desires. Meditate. Put yourself in that dark room and understand this is your life. And what you're going to do, what you want to do is what you're going to do. As long as you're not hurting nobody, as long as you're not breaking the law, doing evil things, you know, going out here starting trouble, you're fine. You can do whatever you want. You got to live your purpose because ain't nobody else going to live your purpose for you. And if you try to have somebody, as a lead, if you try to live through other people, you have no uh, solid foundation. But just understand, y'all, man. All my guys, really. If females are watching this video, y'all get in. Y'all get in, too, man. Y'all y'all are a part of this, too, man. Everybody has to understand. Life is conquest. Life is a journey. You will have your ups and downs. You're going to have, you know, your, your uh, swerves in a row. Sometimes you might crash. Sometimes you might be driving. You know, sometimes you might just be flowing in life. And then sometimes you might just swerve off. By, sometimes you might make a mistake. But you got to understand that. Everything is divine timing. Everything has divine synchronicities within. Any situation you go through in life has a divine message behind it. Because everything you go through, you can learn from it. And you can make things in a more positive light. You can literally be an alchemist and literally make a bad situation into a good situation. Whatever kills you, I mean, whatever that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know? Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I'm telling you. That is a very true saying. You know, because when you go through life, man, stuff is going to be thrown at you no matter what. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much in shape you are. Stuff will happen. Bullshit will come your way regardless. That's something I can guarantee. But I can't I can't guarantee that you're going to, you know, wake up every day and, and complete your goals. I can't guarantee that for you. You have to guarantee that for yourself. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and do the shadow work with yourself. But I can guarantee you this. Hey, regardless of what you do in life. Regardless of how much you think about situations, regardless of how much you're trying to predict the future, things will happen the way they're going to happen, regardless of how much you think about it. So by knowing that, you're able to go through life and just live true to yourself and do what you want to do. Because most people, they don't become successful because they try to live through other people. They try to impress other people. You can't do that, man. You cannot do that. You got to live true to yourself because that's the only way you're going to come out, you know, the rain into a sunshine, sunshine day. You know, you come out that rain, you come out that storm, but there's sunshine on the end. You know, if you keep going and if you stop living for other people and if you really are out here trying your best for real. Some people say they try their best, but they do it for like, let's say they try their business for like a, a couple months and they, and they uh, quit. You only did half the work. People don't really be putting the work in. People don't really be out here putting the work in. Y'all got to really put the work in. Don't do half stuff. Don't go through life half assing stuff. You got to really out here, be out here putting the work in and really be producing in the world, man. Find ways to produce. Find ways to invent. Find ways to reinvent yourself. Every day, you need to be finding strategies how to reinvent yourself. Get a mentor. Go to the gym. Find your purpose. There's purpose. You can find purpose in a lot of things, man. You just got to get out here and experience. You got to get out here and see the world for what it is, man. Go through experiences. Go through stuff. Have fun. Don't take life that serious because at the end of the day, like I said in the beginning of the video, you are a small portion of existence. A hundred years from now, what I'm saying right now, you know, I might, you know, I don't know how, how successful I'm going to be in the future, you know, but at the end of the day, when I pass on, you know, all my kids, if I have kids or whatever, if I leave, leave a legacy, they're going to know. But at the end of the day, it's still billions of people. Things are going to go on and on and on and on, regardless if I'm here or not. People are going to live their life regardless if you're here or not. So that should tell you that, okay, my life should be lived by me, by my terms. I shouldn't be living on other people's terms. That should tell you that right there. I should live by my own terms because, man, these people are going to live their life. I got to live mine. I need to stop living for other people. You know, that's one powerful thing you got to understand about life. Life is meant to be thrived, not survived. Let me tell you that again. Life is meant to be 
thrived, not survived. You're not supposed to be out here surviving. You're supposed to be thriving. Because at the end of the day, this is the only human existence you'll have. Who knows what's on the other side of life? Because when you pass away, there is life. Whether you, I don't care what religion you believe in at the end of the day, you know, there's life beyond this one. You know, whether you're spiritual, whether, I don't, it don't matter about your beliefs. We all uh, can agree that when we leave this human body, there's still life. It's just in a different format. It's in a different form. You take on a different body, whatever, reincarnate, whatever you believe in. You got to understand that there's more life beyond this. You are this human life is a small portion of, of your existence. This human life is a small portion of human existence in general. So live your life on your own terms. Go out with a bang. Don't start trouble. Don't do bullshit. Don't be out here starting trouble. Don't break the law. I'm not saying do that. Just say YOLO and just no, no. Live your life unapologetically though. Do what you want to do. Take risk. Jump out of a plane. Do what you want to do. It's your life. This is your playground. But at the end of the day, take it somewhat serious. But you you should be thriving in life. You should be having fun. You shouldn't be out here taking things too serious. Take yourself serious. And everything else will follow suit. The situations you go through, learn from them and move on. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Life is a journey. Life is a conquest, man. I hope y'all get up today and beat a new level. Think of life like life is a video game. Life is a journey. Life is a quest. Especially as a man. Females, y'all have y'all roles too. Y'all got y'all duties. But as men, we have to keep building our value to be somebody in this world. If we don't build our value every single day, we're nobody. The dude working at Starbucks, working a nine to five for the rest of his life, he's not going to get a DM ever. He's not going to be important to women. He's not going to be important to in business meetings. He's not going to be important to uh, rich people on yachts and people out here. He's not going to be important to those people because he hasn't built, he hasn't took the time to say. Okay, man, there is a life hack. This dude over here driving this Lamborghini, he 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 understood that he couldn't live a normal existence to, to attain that. Because you can't do normal things. You can't do everyday things. You cannot do everyday things and, and think you're going to have a mansion. Think you're going to have, you know, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. You have to do abnormal things to get those things. Now, I'm not saying those things are the most important things in life. But I'm just saying it's the, it's the uh, representation that comes with that, not the thing itself. It's just, it's, I'm more so talking about what it took to attain that. You cannot get a Rolls Royce and, you, and, and do normal things. It's just it, You can't do it. You cannot be a normal everyday Joe, average Joe, working at Starbucks, don't work out. You don't get your body in shape. You know, you don't invest, you don't you don't know how to save your money, you don't talk to mentors, you don't talk to people who are more successful than you, you don't get out and start experiencing, you don't travel, you're never gonna be successful. And you, you know, you and everybody else who wanna just be average and think, you know, and think that other people will confide in you and feel sorry for you, it's not gonna happen. You gotta get up and do the work. Life is a conquest. Y'all gotta beat these levels, man. Beat these levels, because I'm beating them. I'm beating the hell out of these levels every day. I'm leveling up. I'm leveling up. I'm getting my armor. I'm getting my guns. You know what I'm saying? I'm stacking up on my money. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting nice cars. Getting getting trying to get that nice house. You know? You gotta level up, man. Like a video game. Level up. Just level up. The more and more you level up, yeah, it's gonna be more challenging. But understand, being having the spoils as a man is definitely worth the challenge. Definitely. I wanna be on a yacht. I wanna have a Ferrari. I want to, you know, avoid the government. I want to just avoid everything. If I, if I feel stressed out, I'll be like, hey, I'm going to Tokyo. See you. See you later. If I feel stressed out right here, oh, y'all just, y'all doing too much. I'm going to uh, Miami. Or y'all doing too much. I'm going to Antarctica. You know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what's in Antarctica. Honestly, man, because they, they have that closed off for a reason. It's something in Antarctica we don't know about. It's secrets and everything. I want to go to Antarctica, man. I don't have a lot. It's, I know it's harsh there. The weather is crazy. But man, I just want to have an adventure in life. I just want to do things that's not normal. I can't wake up every day and just be normal. I got to be crushing my goals. Thank y'all for watching this video. Uh, I love y'all, man. Thanks for almost um, 700 subscribers, man. We almost there. Let's keep smashing that like button. Let's keep smashing that subscribe button, man. I got more videos coming for y'all soon, man. Thank y'all, man. Uh, every day you got to wake up with a new goal. Wake up every day with some urgency in your life. Thank you for watching this video.